everybody and welcome to a new video here on my channel. I'm so sorry for not posting. It was a very long time since I posted anything but 2020 has really made a mark on my inspirational side and that really sucks. The last video that I did post was about my merch so of course I'm wearing it today. I am so excited about it and i'm so happy that so many of you guys have bought anything and for those of you that have or will please send me photos of the merch when you get it i would love to post it on my instagram and just see it in general uh other than that i just want to say that i'm vlogging on my vlogging channel this entire december to christmas eve at least and i'm posting videos every single day so if you guys have not seen that maybe you've missed it go and check it out if you guys are interested in anything in my life or just want something to watch so i actually asked you guys on instagram what you would like to see and you got to vote what you wanted to see and you guys chose a new year's makeup but this new year's makeup is a little bit special this will be a new year's <laughs> makeup look for sitting at home eating chips and drinking wine either alone or with a friend or maybe two friends. Here in Sweden we do now have restrictions that we should not be more than like four um, and uh, I will probably spend New Year's with Jonas and Thibaut and that is it. So it's a bit weird but this whole year has been weird so I'm kind of used to it now. If you guys follow me on Instagram you might have seen a Instagram TV that I did together with the body shop and I found out this amazing combo and that is the drops of glow liquid illuminator together with their fresh nude foundation and this is in the shade bora bora these two together they created such an amazing glowy base so i really wanted to show you guys as well if you might not have seen that and this might look a lot and i know that this was some kind of trend before that you use liquid highlighter all over your face but i don't know it doesn't really feel as heavy there we go and then i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite brushes right now it is also from the body shop and it is the foundation buffing brush like just look at this skin and this is like a medium coverage if you are going out which i don't know if any country is like allowed to I go out and celebrate with a lot of people, maybe some countries. This is perfect for those of you that are going to stay in and not be out on town and like... What I'm trying to say is medium coverage is perfect if you're gonna sit at home. And I'm not really going to powder that much either because I'm gonna be at home. <laughs> not saying that this doesn't look good wherever you are. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. As always... <laughs> The Tarte Shade Tape in Fair for New Year's. I do want a full coverage concealer. And if you are into the full coverage look, there is no other than Tarte Shade Tape, in my opinion. And uh, we're gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. And then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of the Nabla Close Up Powder. As you guys can see, this is well loved. I've had like three of these. It is the only powder for me. And I'm gonna add that only underneath my eyes. I know that a lot of people have completely stopped using contour and only do bronzer, but I've lately been really loving contour again. I'm so into everything cream right now. I very, very rarely use any powder on my face. So of course I'm gonna go in with a contour stick and this is the stick foundation actually from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Fawn. This is the absolute perfect like cool tone contour for me. And you know what I'm just gonna go in a little bit like that and then I'm gonna blend it out with the same foundation brush that I used for foundation. It is just looking so glowy and healthy. I am so obsessed with creams. And also I'm kind of obsessed with doing my makeup now because 
I very rarely do and now when I'm just sitting at home I'm being even more careful now as the coronavirus has spread quite a lot here in Sweden and we have more restrictions and also it is soon Christmas and I would absolutely <laughs> be destroyed if I had to stay at home and not see my family for Christmas so I'm really trying to stay as healthy as possible and then something that I've used the entire entire year it is the bliss blush from Rare Beauty and I need Rare Beauty to come to Sweden ASAP I'm running out of it so <laughs> Rare Beauty please come to Sweden this is probably the best blush in the world it is so beautiful on the lips it is so beautiful on the nose it is so beautiful on the cheeks I like to put a little bit there and also a little bit right above the tip of the nose and then I blend it out with the same foundation brush let me know by the way how are you celebrating New Year's Eve like tell me whatever I'm not going to like give you shit about seeing a friend or something obviously let me know what you are actually going to do on New Year's Eve because I want to know I just want to hear your guys's joy what you are looking forward to it would be really really nice to hear pretty much the only highlighter that I've used this year as you guys can see i am running out of it and it is looking a dirty af but i'm probably going to get a good get a good what <laughs> get a new one after christmas when there's probably a sale and if you guys are interested in anything that i'm using today i will of course have everything as always linked down below those links are usually ad links which means that if you go through one of my links and you buy something that i might get a cut of it and for you it's just like normal but it does support me and now during corona i would really appreciate it if you guys are interested go through one of my links and uh, you're supporting me without doing a single thing except buying the thing that you want you know and i'm now using ad links finally that goes to sephora not in sweden but in like the us for example so the links are now finally like they should be now I'm gonna go in with the morphe setting mist i don't like the smell of it but the mist is just top notch i mean this base is just out of this world now for a new favorite that is also out of this world this product is so good infinity brows sketch and sculpt from linda Habeck cosmetics and it is in the auburn shade and this is the absolute 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 perfect color and the product in general are just amazing they have a very tiny little pencil like that and then they have more like a liquidy one there also i don't know if you guys have noticed but i've dyed my hair so it's more like a gingery color but the tips is still a little bit too red for my taste you guys can see when i dyed it on my vlogmas on my second channel if you guys are interested i think we're gonna go in with the nyx professional makeup ultimate utopia shadow palette this has 40 shades which is insane and so good i'm first gonna go in with this and i'm just gonna use it underneath my brow here blend it a little bit and we're gonna make a very subtle crease color you guys know i really like to go up a little bit to have that cat eye look so I don't go like rounded like this. I go that way and then that way. There we go. Just very, very subtle. I'm gonna go in with this one and a bit of this one. And we're just gonna go in on the outer corner. And I do not want this color to be ooh, really nice to be like here. I just want it to be here and blend it a little bit into the crease here. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Linda Halberg eye primer. I'm gonna take a little bit there and I'm just gonna put this 
on my lid and shape it like a cut crease. There we go. And now before this creases again, I am gonna go in with this amazing glitter. This is the Anabla Ruby Lights Glitter Palette. And it is so pretty. And I've never used it, but I'm so excited to do so. I don't really know which one I should go for though. I think I'm gonna go in with the gold. <gasps> I mean, what? the hell nabla i love you <laughs> this is just a very thin layer but how beautiful is that it has like both gold and like uh rosé kind of glitters and it has both these small glitters and big glitters okay before i might go in with more i'm gonna go in with just a tiny bit of interstellar from luna halberg it's this is in supernova in the inner corner and then on top of that you can just use your normal highlighter but i really like to go in with this one from fenty beauty it is the diamond bond in how many carrots just has the most amazing like white shimmer that i really like to have in my inner corner and i will also go in with this underneath my brow just to shine a little bit extra and now i'm gonna go in with this black shade i might go in with the black and a little bit of this dark dark brown and we're gonna make a winged eyeliner but with eyeshadow that is something that i've like never done but i really like it and i think that it will just soften this look a little bit right where my bottom and top meet and i'm gonna go like straight out and then i'm gonna go up and now I'm just gonna go in and darken the lash line. There we go, eyeliner is done. I mean, I've never really done a eyeliner with eyeshadow, but I think I've gotten like the technique of it. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go in with a white or cream color in my water line. This one is my absolute favorite right now. It's called Swede, or it is from Swede and it's called Bright. And it's just so creamy which i love i'm also gonna go in with this a little bit underneath here and then i'm gonna go in with the same brush that i did the eyeliner with and i'm just gonna go in underneath here to create like a a new waterline almost there we go oh, and now for a lashes this is the collaboration with my friend felicia and duff lashes they are called my fave as it is felicia's favorite lashes look how gorgeous and then i'm gonna go in with the swede pro lash mascara that i've been loving i thought i was filming but what i've done is that i've just applied the lip stain from anastasia beverly hills in rosewood but i think it is way more pink than i wanted it to be so i'm gonna go in with the nude number one from nabala and i'm just gonna go around my lips a little bit and now for one of my absolute favorite lip glosses these are from fenty the gloss bomb lip glosses let me go in with this sweet mouth in the middle at least and then i'm gonna go in with the hot chocolate on the sides now I'm just gonna get my hair done. And if you guys are interested in how my hair is made, I will have it on my Instagram TV. I don't understand why you're thinking of me. Alrighty, hair is done and I have my jacket on. It's like a dress suit, if that makes sense. I had this on last New Year's and uh, it is very comfortable. So I will probably wear it today as well if I don't wear just like my sweatshirt and uh, sweatpants, <laughs> to be honest. This kind of makeup is for sure something that I feel the most beautiful in and therefore this is obviously something that I want to wear celebrating the start of a new year. I am leaving 2020 in the past. <sighs> Let's just hope that 2021 is better. That is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments 
how you will be celebrating a new year's and also let me know if you do recreate this kind of look or if you're just watching now take a screenshot and uh or a photo with your phone and tag me on instagram and i will repost you because i think it's so much fun to see who you guys are and then it's it's easier to stalk people on instagram love you guys and i hope that we will see each other in the next video bye guys <laughs>